right, welcome to part two with our Bolid robot. This here is from XYZ Robots. Today we'll be actually looking at the play footage of it and how to actually use him. Now, compared to the Alpha 1S, this robot is a little bit more different than him, but they're very identical in a lot of ways. So let's go ahead and turn them on. There's a switch on the back of him, which we just simply hit the power button. And they'll make that sound saying that he's ready. Now, versus the Alpha 1S where you can use an app to control your robot, this one actually has its own remote. Uh, now, you can also use an app as well, but I feel the remote kind of gives it a more uh, robotic, toyish feeling, which is, I think, a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button on here. And once it blinks, it's saying it's ready. It is currently connected. Now, there's a few different uh, things that you can do with this robot. For one, uh, you can use the remote to control them, so I can hit forward and he will move forward and then I hit back and move back. So that's forward and that's back. Right and left. And then there's different buttons on here. So there's a few different, uh, I think it's two, four, six different triggers on here. And these are all programmable so you can actually uh, do whatever you want with that. So let's go ahead hit one of them. So this here is an uppercut uh, in case you're fighting. So literally it's the way to attack an opponent that's higher than him. And this here is the attack to attack someone lower than him. Uh, so this here is a salute, or sorry, a wave, he's waving. And then this button here is a, a bow. And we have this one here. This is more of a demonstration. And this is another demonstration. I would say like more like a taunt. Uh, now he's actually doing a push-up. Uh, then here is the salute. <laughs> Let's try it again. So literally there's different aspects on the hair that you can do. Uh, you can make him rotate right, you can make him rotate left. And do know that there's a lot of two different pre-programmed uh, actions that you can ass assign to the the, uh, the remote itself from the computer. So we'll actually look at that in a little bit as well. All right, so in addition to the remote, he actually has some uh, pre-programmed buttons on his back. Uh, there's four different buttons which you can actually uh, uh, assign your own attribute to it. Uh, you do that through the computer. But we'll go ahead and watch the demonstration once for now. So I'll go ahead and click on the far right here. So I think it just shows more of its uh, potential on what it can do. I believe these are Kung Fu moves. <laughs> you almost hit me. I'll just climb up a little floor here. We've got a lot of different moves. You can see why they use this robot in fighting. And that was his little bow. Alright, so that was the Kung Fu animation. Let's go ahead and click on one of his dance animations and see how that works. I'm just going to go ahead and press the button on the back.
Yeah, I don't know who thought of these damn clothes. He's actually really fast. And there's his bow. <laughs> so that's one of his dances that he has. Uh, let's go ahead and watch his other one. Yeah, I know thought of these songs. So not only this robot's a fighter, he's also a dancer, so that's kind of fun to see. <laughs> All right, so now in that last dance, you probably noticed that he almost fell, uh, which actually brings me to my next aspect of the video is what if he does fall? How does he get back up? Now, versus Alpha 1S, where he, if he does fall, he doesn't get up. Uh, this robot's a little different. So let's go ahead and flat down. Let's say if he fell this way, all I gotta do is hit the up arrow and he literally just stands right back up. <laughs> now, if he falls on the back, on his back, and I hit the up arrow, he gets right back up. Now that's really interesting because um, literally this robot has the ability to get back up within seconds which you don't see too often in other robots. Alright well that pretty much summarizes the bolded robot and its functionalities right out of the box. Uh, obviously there's more programming that you can do with the program itself and creating your own animations as well as your own fighting stances. Now if you guys have any questions be sure to comment down below and be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me as well. Uh, but otherwise We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>